In this video, we're going to talk about what happens if you happen to move a video from one location to another after you have created a video time study. So if I open up one of my studies here, I'm going to get a message here that this video can no longer be found. So in other words, uh, there is a video file name field over here, which I'm going to show you here in a second. If I scroll over here, here's the video file name. It's a complete path to that video. Now, if that video is no longer in that location, you're going to get a message saying it's, it can't find it there, and it's going to ask you, do you want to try and find it? So if I close this again, let's do a new study, and bring it back up one more time, you can see the prompt now. The video file referenced is not found. So this is a file that's being used here. Do you want to locate this file? So you can say no and continue. You can cancel. Or what I'm going to do here is you say yes, I do want to locate the file. And now all I've done here is stuck it into my temporary folder over here. So I come down here to my uh, temporary data. And I'm going to look for it. This is the file right here. I click on the open. And what happens is it updates the file name over here and they're all been changed to the new location. So every place it found that previous location has now been changed to this one. Now, of course, this has not been saved yet. So the important thing is that you come up here, you do file and you do a save study and that will save the new location here. So don't forget to save the file after you've located the original source file again to give it the new path.